Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ampli. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do police sirens. And what I mean by police sirens is how to properly scale them so they work in game, etc, etc. So what we're going to have here is our police light bar along with siren 1, siren 2, and siren 3. We're going to start off with siren 1. You're going to have your origin point set to whatever. You could do surface. I already have mine set to where I want them. So you're going to press S and you're going to scale it down by 0 0.01. That's going to make it super tiny so you can't see it from anywhere on the outside, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to do the same thing with these ones over here. Now you might be asking why we're setting them to 0 0.01. This is for the scale factor within your carcals.meta. This is very important. Sometimes you'll have super massive sirens when you redo them and you never update the carcals.meta. This is going to be that reason. Now 0.01 is essentially the universal that I've noticed across vehicle developers. However, you could do 0.001 and etc. It doesn't really matter. But I'd recommend 0 0.01. It's worked out pretty well. Now back into Blender, we have to create our bones. Now bones are essentially Z modelers dummies if you've never worked within Solemns before. So what we're going to do, we're going to select Siren 1, Shift S, Cursor to Selected. You're going to notice that your 3D World cursor goes there, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to click this bone here, go over to data and click viewport display. Go ahead and click in front so you can see it in front of the model and names. Now this bone was siren glass for that was previously on this vehicle. That's fine. We're just going to duplicate it. So after duplicating it, we're going to change the name over to siren one. Now, once we have it renamed, we're going to press shift S selection to cursor now you're going to notice that the beginning of the bone is directly on the 3d world cursor that's exactly what we want this is how it's going to direct kind of like the origin point in game essentially now we're going to do that with the other sirens we have so siren 2 shift s cursor to selected click on siren 1 again duplicate it rename it over to siren 2 shift s selection to cursor same thing with siren, th siren 3 sorry alrighty so now that we have siren 1 siren 2 siren 3 we're gonna go look at our bones real quick now these were already parented within the extra which is this extra two as you can see now if they weren't parented for say you would need to or else they're going to stay showing within in game basically so make sure it's parented to whatever extra if you have it set to one if it's a misc it doesn't really matter but it does help out with your workflow since it's a lot more organized Alrighty, now that we got that done, we're going to go click Siren 1, and we're going to apply the scale. To get into this little menu here, you have to do Control A. Do the same with Siren 2 and Siren 3. Now you'll notice here, if you try scaling it, it's going to be super hard. But, once again, the scale factor comes into play here. If you scale it by 100, it's going to come out to the exact same as before that's exactly what we want if yours isn't doing that redo the tutorial alrighty now that we have these set up we're gonna go over to Psalms tool once again and we're just gonna LOD it you should already know how to do this by this point uh, if you don't then you might want to learn Psalms a little bit more all that remains now is to make sure they're set to the correct vertex group. 
this is essentially leaking your dummy slash bones. So here I already have mine set, but we're just going to make sure. We're going to go into edit mode, A, and assign it. We're going to go ahead and do that with all the ones that we just messed with. Alrighty, so these are all linked together. We're going to go ahead and export it. Alrighty, so now that we have it exported, we're just going to go ahead and drag it into your RPF Explorer. This will create the actual files. Now here, you can see we have it. So, we're going to focus on Siren X for a second. So, this is essentially a tool to visualize your sirens for the most part. It's super useful. And I already made a little pattern here. For light bars, I don't recommend using only three sirens. I'd recommend at least six. Just split them up in the best way possible. You'll see these little arrows at the top of Siren X. So this is the direction the siren is facing. If we go back to Dawnstar over here, here at the top, I believe. Yeah, right here. So delta slash rotation. This is really important. If you don't have it set correctly, it's not going to work. So, the front is obviously the front. That's zero. So, two is considered our front, which it's already onto. Right is considered the passenger. One was considered our passenger here. So, it's already set to that. And then left is considered the driver. So there we go, it's now facing the correct directions. Now, sometimes you can have issues over here in Blender as well. Sometimes having it facing front will work, sometimes it won't. I actually meant to have them facing the opposite direction. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. Now if you run into this issue yourself, you could just click the tail of the siren bone, shift S put your cursor to it, select your entire siren, rotate it, and then selection to cursor. It's as simple as that. So there we go. We have our left, our front, and our right. We're going to go ahead and re-export that now. So now that we re-exported it, all we have to do is re-import it. Well, that's doing that. We're going to come on over here. Now, you could only ever have one siren color. Like, if I try swapping it over to white, everything else is going to swap over to white. Your BPM is beats per minute, essentially. So if you put this all the way up to 1200, it's going to go by super fast, as you can see. I'd say the sweet spot is anywhere between 600 to around 800. Once again, it's just up to you to play with it. Now, we're going to export this. So Siren IDs is very gimmicky. Sometimes you could have duplicates. Sometimes you can't even have any duplicates and they'll still mess up. Siren X tries their best at generating a random one. So you could go off of this or you could just spam your keyboard and hopefully it works. Now for the Siren name, you kind of want to keep it matching with your vehicle name. In my case, it is Pole Coquette 4. So there we go. It automatically downloads it. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. There we go. Now we're just going to rename that to carcals.meta for now. And if we take a peek in here, you can see the ID value, pull coquette. Alrighty, so I went ahead and gathered up all the meta files, which I'll be providing down in the description as well. So we're going to go ahead and copy our YTD and our YFTs. Now I have a template resource here for police cars. We're going to go ahead and put all of that into the stream. Then we're going to focus on data. We're going to get our carcals.meta. We're going to paste it in here. And now we're going to open all three of these files. So we're going to start off on carcals here. We're going to copy the ID value. And we're going to go look over at car variations. We're going to find siren settings, replace the value with ours, and then for the model name, we're going to copy, well, obviously your model, 
In my case, it's Polko Cat 4. It'll be whatever for you. Vehicles.meta, you should already have this if you don't just find a filler one or even use this one. So we're done with that. Now we can go ahead and load in our server and everything should be working that we just edited. So now that we loaded into the server, just go ahead and do this. Get four. All right, looks like it didn't spawn with the extra two, which is actually kind of perfect to describe what I meant earlier if you don't have it parented under extra two. So I have the sirens on here, as you can tell, which are a little bit messed up. That is because we set them wrong inside of the Siren X. So this is a perfect example, actually, of how important doubts are. So it looks like we got it a little bit confused in our case. We're going to swap these over. There we go. That looks a lot better now. And we could go ahead and export that, confirm. I'm just going to do it this way so it's a little bit easier. Go ahead and copy that all over to here. Close that out. So now we're going to go ahead and restart the server. I went ahead and restarted the server. Let's see if that fixed it. Alrighty, missing the roof once again, which is fine for now. So there you go. You can see that messing with the doubts is once again, correcting them, fixed our issue that we were experiencing.